Hi everyone, my name is Ankush Chavadi. I am CEO and founder of LearnerMate Technologies. Today, along with me, Shreyas is there. He is my ex Oracle DBA student. And uh, today, we are going to discuss about some interview questions related to the Oracle DBM. Uh, the main agenda of this mock interview series, because this is our third episode. If you have not seen our previous episode, you can just go to our LearnerMate Technologies YouTube channel and watch first and second. So this series is going to be helpful if you want to crack the Oracle DBA job. So hi Shreyas, how are you? Hi, hi sir. So can you tell me about the stories about the Oracle DBA? What are all things you know? Uh, I know Armen backup, hard backup, full backup. Achha. So what is backup? Why we take backup? What is the importance of backup? Uh, if someone deletes uh, our files or some crash will happen, then we require backup to recover and restore that backup. So where you are going to keep your backup? We keep uh, in uh, separate folders or create uh, archive destination project. In this case, what you can say, like, you know, you can keep the backup on disk level, like you can use SAN storage, you can use NAS storage. Um, the, the formats are also there, like a disk format is also there, tape formats are there. So this is the way you can give the answer. Okay. So let's talk about the backup. Uh, what are all backups you know? Like you talked about the RMAN. What what other utilities are there to take the backup? Uh, XPDP, IMPDP. We can also take backup of that. It takes backup of uh, logical files. Mm. And with RMAN, we can take off uh, physical files. Achha. See in the market, like. Uh, so these are the utilities which are available along with the Oracle. But um, apart from the Oracle, like you know, there are certain utilities are available outside. Like Commvault is there, which is very famous. So some projects are also using, but internally it is using Rman only. Okay. Now coming to the let's start from very beginning of Oracle architecture. What is Oracle architecture? What are the components are there? Uh, in SGA, there is shape tool. Can you talk about from starting of instance step? Okay. Okay. Instance have a uh, main uh, main memory is SGA. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when users try to connect, every uh, processes get assigned with PGA. That is called as private global area. Mm -hmm. In SGA, uh, there is shape tool. In shape tool, there are two components: library cache. Data, uh, database buffer cache. Mm -hmm. uh, in shared pool, uh, there is uh, one compo uh, two components like database buffer uh, cache mm -hmm. and read -to log file. Mm -hmm. Read -to log file and physical components are uh, password file, read -to log files. Uh, this one time. Okay. So Let's talk about the redo. What is redo? Like, what does it do? Whenever a uh, user or any user perform VDL and TML operation, mm -hmm. all that transaction are stored inside it. Achha. So, so first of all, it will go to the redo log file or redo log buffer. It will uh, go to the redo log buffer. And from redo log buffer, it will come to the uh, redo log file. Uh, Why it is coming from redo log buffer to redo log files? The user commits. Uh, all the transactions which are there, mm -hmm. then uh, through the uh, log writer, it will come to the read log file. Achha. What if, uh, you know, re if your read log buffer is full? Read then... log buffer is full, uh, then uh, this log switch will happen. Okay. And it will start writing the data from read log buffer to read log files. Yes. What is, uh, who is responsible to write down the data from your uh, database buffer cache to data files, your dirty blocks? Uh, it is called as DB writer. DB writer. And what is the role of your S1 process? Uh, S1 process is used for instance uh, recovery. Instance recovery. What is instance recovery? Uh, whenever uh, there is some crash or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, it perform a uh, transaction. Mm. All the uncommitted transactions are rolled back and committed uh, are uh, written. How and database will get to know, know that? Okay, these are all transactions are committed. These are all transactions are uncommitted. Uh, checkpoint. It ch check every time. So whenever commit is happening, the checkpoint will occur. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now coming to the physical structure. Uh, 
uh, we have this parameter file is there. What are the different type of parameter files are there? SP file and P file. So SP file is a uh, uh, which is uh, in the form of zeros and ones. It's, it's a binary file basically. Yeah. Okay. And P file? Uh, it is text file. When the database will get started with the P file? Uh, if SP file is not sent. So can we start the database with P file even if your SP file is available? Um, SP startup uh, that file name. Startup P file equals to your P file location ah, yes. and you can start your database with? That file. Achha. And uh, what are the things available under this parameter file? There are uh, various DB parameters like DB uh, name, hmm. nickname, hmm. Uh, processes, hmm. open process, these all parameters are there. What are the different type of parameters are there? Uh, there are two types of parameters, hmm. static and dynamic. Static and dynamic. dynamic. What is static? What is dynamic? Uh, dynamic uh, change immediately hmm. and static will uh, take time to after we shut down the database mm -hmm. and start up again, it will uh, take effect. And what are the scopes are there? Scope is equal to SP file, scope is equal to both, and scope is equal to memory. What is meant by scope equals to both? Uh, so, uh, when it will take effect immediately mm -hmm. while running instance. It will take the effect? Immediately. Okay. Scope equals to both means you are going to, your changes is going to be happening in memory plus sp file yeah. okay and this is mainly useful when you are doing or when you are changing the dynamic parameter yeah. correct uh, what is data guard why we use that uh, data guard uh, is used for any uh, natural calamity will happen mm -hmm. under that circumstances data guard is used. so this is basically your disaster recovery solution yeah. correct provided by oracle okay. What are the different type of data guard setups are available? Uh, actually, I don't know. Okay. I will remember only one snapshot standby. Snapshot standby database, physical standby database, active data guard is there, logical standby is there, right? So we have different different type of data guard sets up there. Um, see, when your table space is full, right? What will happen, and uh, how are you going to resolve that? Uh, if the uh, table space got full, you can add data file for, uh, for it. Uh, if the table space got full, uh, sometimes uh, users cannot be connected. Or it can happen that uh, what other uh, changes can be overwritten. Mm -hmm. it, it may happen that. So when your table space full, actually your users will not be able to insert the data to the table. Okay, they will get error message and if that happened what you'll do uh, add the data file add the data file or resize it. resize it also what is the maximum size of data file 32 gb and how it is depends uh, according to the blo block size db uh, block size yeah generally it is 8k mm -hmm. so in that case if you want to create a table space um what are the ways like you can create a table space what things you require if you want to create a table space? You require memory. No, no, no. If you want to create a table space, table space is a collection of data files. So when you create a table space, automatically you, data files are there. No, automatically will not be there, man. You need to write down like create table space, table space name, and you need to specify the data file location. So which will be the part of that table space. What is auto extend in that? Uh, it will uh, take changes. Uh, According to uh, memory. So, in auto extend, what will happen? As soon as you are going to, you know, your uh, data file is going to be full, basically, yeah. it will be auto extended. Okay. Till you will not get that table space full error. Uh, you may get, but automatically it will get extended. Yeah. And that is also maximum size of 32 GB. So, likewise, like, you know, um, you may get a lot of interview questions. Okay. Yeah. So, this is just like beginning. Okay you go through all the interview questions try to understand the concept again um, apart from this if you have any questions we can discuss in the class okay yeah. so i hope this mock series is helping you those people who want to start their career into the db technologies and we are going to come up with our next mock interview with new student 
and new questions will be there so keep watching this series and uh, i hope you guys are enjoying it apart from this if you are looking for dba training you can reach out to the learnomate team we have offline online different different type of trainings are available along with learnomate thank you and bye bye please share this with your friends colleague and everyone bye bye